My name is Agmohia Merio Roberto. I'm a Jesuit priest and I have currently the privilege of serving as the president of the Jesuit Conference of Africa and Madagascar. And that is the network of Jesuit major superiors of nine different provinces and regions in Africa and Madagascar. I'm particularly pleased to express my own um, appreciation of Pope Francis's recent encyclical Fratelli Tutti because I believe that as a document based on the fundamental teachings of the Catholic Church it speaks very particularly to the situation in Africa and just taking one aspect of that which is politics it shows in which ways politics can be life-giving and in which ways politics can be life, um, undermine life in Africa. When you look at the situation in Africa, as I see it at least, there is a large vacancy of political leadership. Leadership that is able to focus on the needs and the priorities of people. And yet Pope Francis is actually calling us to something different, that leadership and politics are based on charity. Not as a favor we do to people, but as a matter of responsibility and accountability for the common good, that is the well-being of people. When you look across the continent, you see that this is precisely what is missing, where politics has become a means, a predatory means of acquiring resources dubiously, of denying people their rights, and in fact of creating dysfunctionalities that make it difficult for people to survive. So when Pope Francis talks about political charity, I see that as a politics that takes the interest of the people to heart, where politicians make room for people rather than sacrifice people for their own particular gains. And when you look around the situation we are facing today in the context of the coronavirus pandemic, my assessment is that the biggest gap is the gap of leadership. How people are able to cope with this crisis or not able to cope with this crisis depends to a large extent on what kind of leadership is available to them. And when you look at the political arrangements today, they are not suited for responding to this particular crisis, precisely because it is politics that looks at personal interests. Where do we go from here? I think Pope Francis is very clear that we need to refocus our attention on what he calls the common good. That is, being able to see beyond personal interests, being able to resist the temptation to misappropriate public goods for personal interest. That's critically important. But how do we get there? Again, it's not enough to put the emphasis on just politicians. It's a collective engagement. And that's why the Pope talks about fraternity and social friendship. In other words, politics becomes a means for serving, not simply for appropriating. And building a community that considers and includes the weakest, the most vulnerable, and the most fragile in our midst. Thank you.